That thing got a hammy. All right, just unbox the modified stock engine mounts and the TTI exhaust Hemi motor mounts. All right, so Mancini Racing, if you can read that, Mancini Racing has this uh, part number MRE2250. It's a Gen 3 Hemi rubber mount set. Basically, it's a set of stock rubber mounts. And see right here how they slice and dice a little bit off the edge there like a Ginsu knife. Whack. And then right here, whack. Whack. So they cut that off because you have to modify them slightly to clear. And uh, this is the TTI two pieces that you get here with their biscuit style motor mounts is what they call them here. But here's what sucks. I'm a kind of a detail oriented guy here in both my normal job and my hobby stuff and um yeah their directions truly suck because this is a black and white picture and you can't really discern here how these are put on i mean it might be intuitive to a dodge guy but i am a ford pontiac gm guy uh, a newbie to dodge you know what i'm saying um so i got to figure out how these adapt to that hemi engine sitting there and then how the rubber mounts are gonna bolt to it to actually go onto the car so it'd be nice if they had a little bit better write up here but apparently that was not the forte other than saying rubber isolators are available from other people which again i got them from mancini and um rubber isolators are not included which obviously i know that these are designed to work with their 61c headers which basically is what these are uh, that I got laying over there. All right, now that I've cut this chunk off the back, see there, that's what it looked like there. Ta-da, gone. So now we come over here, this is our mount see the number sides up blocks upside down but you see there's three holes here they gotta line up in here like that so they give you this hardware 3 8 head I always gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite on there before you put them on so we'll show you that and just like that went from zero to a hero here's with the motor mount on that's what it's actually gonna look like but this doesn't have a nut on it yet so you see how it's angled and cut but that's how it works the nut end goes toward the front of the engine so the bolt goes through this way tighten it up you have one two three that hold the compressor on so we're good there take that off and you'll see where i trimmed it here trimmed as close as i could and it was perfect gives me enough room for the mount to clear we're good to go so i've tightened this up that bolt there is really hard to get to but this one here i got to it and this one so the mount's tight cut the back of the compressor off i put two bolts in it just to show you you know put that back on i put the third bolt in it here and tighten that up then put the serpentine belt back on i'm probably going to go in here and dress this up a little bit clean it make it look nice and this is the pasture side to put it on i had to take the oil filter off because it is in the way um this is what it looks like without the mount on it you see it looks like it has room but with the filter on there it actually touches and uh the mount on this one goes like this you can see where it's got the indention cut out to clear the block like that and on this one the nut goes toward the back of the car see how the nut is there but that is what it's going to look like so now I just need to do like an oil filter uh, relocation kit to see how that's going to be on there. I don't even think a 45 is going to be what I want. So I think an oil filter relocation kit is going to suit me a little better. I can run the lines where I want to from there. But this is what the motor mount adapters look like. This is the patcher side. 
and that over there is the driver's side so now they are actually on you can make an 03 to 08 work you just got to cut this part of the compressor off and again this is this is it that's why i cut off i started cutting i didn't see it was enough so i cut a little bit deeper and that's what it looks like you can see it's just hollow it's just support it doesn't affect the compressor at all so we should be good now so we'll put this back in here like so and um yeah when we drop it down in the car it should go in together be ready to go did you mean the charger because you know that's got a hemi too yeah. <laughs>